Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have to pull a recovery from an LG Multi-V system and I'm going to show you how to code this into vacuum mode. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We have to recover the refrigerant from an LG Multi-V system as once again we have another failed compressor we have a recovery tank a recovery machine we have our gauge manifold set we have our 410a adapters and we're gonna be pulling a recovery also when you're gonna be pulling a vacuum on this kind of system you have to code the main board you open up this cover this is the main board the one where you see you have here where you have letters and numbers anyways so the idea here is to put the system in vacuum mode. Why? Because we have a bunch of EEVs and a bunch of solenoids and we want everything open so we can recover or vacuum the entire system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the power on. Right now we have the power off. Here's the compressor wires. We're gonna be, we're gonna be here all day changing this thing and we're even gonna pull an overnight vacuum. Also, you also wanna recover the proper amount of refrigerant because you might be lighting a torch and there's still gas in the lines guys you don't want that happening so let's begin by turning the power back on and we're gonna flip the dip switch so we can put it in a different function all right guys just a quick note that this is a lg multi v4 system and the same applies for the lg multi v5 system so like i said we're gonna start by turning the power on. So that's on. We don't want this thing to start. We have five dip switches here. Okay. One, no, excuse me, there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna take dip switch number five and push it up. And we're gonna have a function mode. This thing just started. I didn't want anything to happen so let this thing start up and it's gonna go into function I think it's gonna say F U N C let's give it a chance all right it says F U N C function you can put this thing in many functions let's so we have a red button which is like your enter button which is S W O 1 6 right oh S W O 1 C all right left arrow right arrow x we're gonna click the right arrow one time another time suc that's what we want then we're going to confirm with the red button all right and then we have different services different services different things going on we're gonna click the right arrow again right arrow again se3 and we're going to confirm that with the red button right there VACC and we're in vacuum mode guys now for vacuum mode this is what you're gonna want to do give it a chance to open up all the solenoids and all the EEV so we don't have any trapped refrigerant so right there now that we're in vacuum mode we're good to go now we can go along our regular processes and start this recovery you're gonna want to do this when you're pulling a vacuum or a recovery we just started the recovery process. The recovery machine is on. All the valves are open. We're set to recover, manifold, everything. And I definitely recommend, it's actually like a must, guys, especially with systems like this, you're gonna want a refrigerant scale. You always wanna know exactly how much you're recovering. Also, make a note for the next guy. Let him know how much refrigerant's in there. That was me last time. You really wanna do that. This is one condensing unit and it's controlling nine indoor units. So we have nine air handlers and we have a HR box, a heat recovery box, basically your branch box. This is not a regular system. We have three pipes. So although it's a heat pump, it can have heating and cooling all year round, which is amazing. This is a hotel. Some people are from different parts of the world where some one person might be cold, God might be warm. In this case, everybody's satisfied and you know can have heating and cooling which is an amazing thing also this recovery machine 
is absolutely amazing. It's so fast. I really, it would save a lot of time, especially with systems like this with a lot of refrigerant. But pretty much, there you have it, guys. You're gonna wanna have the power on, flip dip switch five on, go to, go to SE number three, and get into vacuum mode. And that's, and that's how you do it. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Unfortunately, it's raining while we're doing this job. We're gonna do as much as we can, and I'll catch you all next time.